Hi Capricorn, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and jump into this Capricorn. Thank you God for blessing Capricorn with a clear, concise message from you. Okay, so this is going to be a very specific reading. Um, so it looks like somebody has, um, like they have boundaries in terms of their marital partner or their girlfriend or boyfriend, or, um, they've kind of put up like some, I don't know, boundaries, energetic, like pushing away because they're having thoughts of maybe, you know, um, sex opportunity to have sexual encounter with the same sex. But it's just a thought for, for right now. But somebody is thinking about it. Or they're thinking about going back to it. If they have already, you know, been a part of, you know, um, maybe a bisexual lifestyle. Um, it's like they think about it and then they leave it alone. Because they feel like, um, you know, it's a bad decision. You know, uh, they, they don't feel like this is what they should be doing. But they definitely think about it heavy. Okay. And they also think about their uh, reputation. Okay. And they think about maybe this getting out. Yeah. Wow. As I say that, look, look at this. Look at this. Can't make this stuff up. Um, they think about maybe, you know, if they do uh, dibble and dabble, maybe with the, sex, the same sex, it'll get out. Um, and then we got the official person and the mature man coming out. So it's like um, they already have a person in mind. Then we also have cheating. Okay. And then we also have the reconciliation card. So it's like, look, somebody already has already gone there, you know, in terms of maybe sex with the same sex. Um, but it's for some reason, they feel like it's a bad decision. It's not what they should be doing. Maybe because they have obligation to this empress. They could also be somebody pregnant, but, um, I don't know if it's you Capricorn or somebody else saying, I'm look, I'm not attracted to my partner and it could have everything to do with the fact that, um, you know, they're just not attracted to the opposite sex, not for maybe sexual reasons, because there are some men and some women in the world who feel like, um, they like to have sexual encounters, sexual relationship with the same sex, but they like to have relationship like, um, vulnerable intimate relationship with the opposite sex so there are some people who feel that way um there is somebody who's thinking of a, you know very they think of you know these uh these sexual desires maybe at night they think about how it might not be a good um a, a good decision uh with the moon card here and they think about the the two natures you know of themselves the, you know, the, the two sides Somebody is also just not wanting to have a one-on-one -on -one connection. If you are already in a relationship, whether it's same sex or opposite sex, somebody is saying, look, I'm, I just don't do well with one-on-one -on -one connections. And that's possibly because they are hiding so many different people behind them. This person could be coming to the relationship genuine, wanting to exchange their heart. But this person has got a lot of different people. Um, and as I say that we have the car surfacing the town whore, there's somebody who just gets around, you know, and that's their, that's their energy. They're always out to change or to make some change here. Um, they're always out to, um, to move about, you know, they don't, they don't just, um, they don't stick around too long. Um, we also have an energy of somebody who is very materialistic, uh, and, um, this is what keeps them tied to a particular person too, because, um, they're a good look for them. They also have money. Um, and, uh, it, it, the money brings them access to all of the material things that they want. So somebody is, um, you know, really receptive to somebody's alternative lifestyle, alternative thoughts, um, because, you know, they can now buy, have, live, go wherever they want to go on this person's dime. So it's almost like somebody knows that they're signing up to be a beard. Um, 
if they don't know, it, I mean, like it hadn't been set, you know, they didn't sit down and talk about it and agree o over it, you know, and put it on paper. But, you know, it's like the unspoken, you know. So that's what I have for you, Capricorn. There's also like a, a secret baby here. Somebody is not really wanting to address the fact that there is a child here, maybe a secret love child. But because somebody's already married, somebody's already couple, and then there's somebody who just doesn't want children. But they may have made the mistake of conception, but now the baby is here. So you got to do what you got to do in terms of that. Um, last card, you have trauma bonding. Somebody also could be, you know, having thoughts of having sex with the same sex because there could have been some trauma in their past. Um, you know, spoiled, rotten children could have some. Um, they could be hindering your progress in a love relationship too. Um, yeah, somebody's health is declining. Somebody's health is on the decline. Yeah, uh, somebody's financial health is on the decline because we have homeless and in need. Somebody's physical health is on the decline. Also, um, somebody's just yep, addicted to love here. And we saw that with the person who just cannot. They don't do well with one-on-one -on -one connections, okay? Um, so this is what I have for you, Capricorn. If it resonates, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. Also, get your own personal reading by going over to the website. Ask a question or two by texting your question to the number below. You can also donate to the channel. If you took anything from the reading, you can give back. You could click the Buy L a Coffee link. Thank you, guys. Many blessings to you. Take care.